Welcome back to another video, Team TST Zeal. And let's get right into it. In this video, we are discussing a vlog that I thought may or may not go up, but let's just jump right into it and you guys will see what it's about. This vlog might be one to never actually be, but long story short, yesterday night, I believe, I randomly was looking at Lamborghinis for sale. I've been looking nonstop or I, I wouldn't say non-stop, but I've been checking every few days to see what's up for sale. Long story short, poster, I, I mentioned a while back that there was something special about this poster that I was going to reveal later. And I'm just going to reveal it now. Obviously, this won't get posted if nothing comes of it. But very dead center, the most centered Lamborghini on the poster was a Superleggera 08 model. And essentially... I'm trying to think back several months ago i decided that huracan was getting a sort of out of hand with the way the market set and at the at the age of when was it it was after the first year of law school i'm trying to remember which year that was so in 2018 the summer of 2018 i decided i was going to set the goal for myself to have a lamborghini at the age of 26. So I kind of put that out there constantly. You know, if you guys know me at all, modded several cars in the past and I went with the number 71, sort of like a race car number essentially. And you guys see it on blue tee as well. And I did that in the past with other cars. So I kind of always put out there 26, 71, 71, 26, you know, those two numbers, 26 meaning the age I was gonna have my Lamborghini and 71 representing what that number meant to me going through all these cars so i set that goal so that's some sort of backstory at the age of seven or eight like i mentioned before is when i wanted a lamborghini that was my childhood dream car and i worked extremely hard to get to that point and you know when i was um in law school like i said i set the goal you know why not try to do it even faster rather than having the goal let's set a short-term goal to actually have it accomplished you know rather than having a lamborghini in my 40s or 30s or whatever let's try to do it at the age of 26. so i turned 26 several months ago so i've been very much in the process of trying to locate a lamborghini and long story short huracan kind of got out of the question so i started looking at gallardos i wanted something special and i went with the Superleggera. and yeah oddly enough the day i set my wallpaper on my laptop as a super Legera. the next day my mom came home she was like oh i spotted this lamborghini in traffic on the way back home from work uh here's a photo of it and it wasn't a super Legera, but it was an orange lamborghini which is oddly enough you know that i had put an orange lamborghini super Legera as my wallpaper so i thought it was some weird coincidence of sorts or it was just fate uh, and then some time went on and my sister gave me this poster not realizing at all that a Superleggera was dead center so I, I was like okay that's very interesting some time goes on actually this was in recent weeks I started debating whether I wanted second gen super uh, super uh, whether I wanted a second gen Giardo or I wanted a first gen Superleggera ended up deciding probably want to go to Superleggera then I started contacting dealers trying to figure out what exactly it would look like if I got one. And I'm not going to really discuss it because it gets super complicated and very in-depth about my finances, the Benz, what the Lambo, uh, Lambo would look like financially and all that. So I don't want to really get into that. But, you know, it came to a point where I was like, hmm, should I get the Superleggera, which I want, or do I get a cheaper Giardo first gen same as Superleggera and build it into something even more unique than the Superleggera so I started looking at Haman parts if you guys know what that is um something that I fell in love with as a kid actually I'm not really sure when Haman made their Giardo version I think there was also an 08 oddly enough and I'm not sure how old I would have been at that time I think like maybe like a teenager by then a young teenager <laughs> Uh, and I fell in love with the car. I haven't really thought about it in years because it was sort of whatever. And 
long story short, I was like, okay, I could either do, do the Suplegera for significantly more money or I could get a cheaper one, build it myself. Monthly payments are going to be extremely lower. Insurance is going to be cheaper. I could build this into a way faster Lamborghini than the Suplegera, make it even more unique and so on and so forth. So I decided, you know what, maybe this build process is actually what I truly want since I love making cars unique and build them the way I want to build them. And blue tea is like epitome of that. Um, so yeah, that's sort of where I started leaning. So I was like, okay, maybe I get a Suplegera if I could find one. You know, right now I think there's only two for sale in the entire country. It's very hard to find. A couple of weeks ago, there was five for sale in the country. And yeah, so that's that and so that's what i ended up deciding that i'm gonna go for the super if i can you know it's going to take into account other things like me looking for um me looking for you know cars out of state out as a travel if i want to trade in the bends then i'm not sure how the bends is getting out of state so on and so forth a lot of complexities um with trying to locate a super easier to find a giardo pretty hard to find what I want because I wanted something that was subtle in color maybe orange if I was going bright but outside of that wouldn't want to go any anything like it outside of orange maybe I don't want yellow I don't want bright green or anything like that I like going for the sleek subtle look like I did with a Ben so preferably I would probably prefer it to be black or gray and yeah so that's that <sighs> And I lost the track of what I was trying to even say at that point, but, you know, I, I was trying to sort of, you know, either get a Suplegera, essentially is what I'm trying to get at, as the main plan, if I could locate one, um, and get a Guillardo instead, and built it um, as a backup plan. So here we are now. Last night, as I was looking at Lamborghinis, located the one I'm, like, in communications with right now at a dealer and it's in Southern California, so it would require some traveling, but it is in California, which is really beneficial when you really think about, you know, everything, traveling, time it's going to take, money it's going to take, um, trading in the bends, if that's even an option, and so on and so forth. So communicating with them, been communicating here and there through the morning and afternoon, and we'll just see where it goes. I'm like literally so anxious and jittery about this, but, going back and forth just had a call moments ago actually with the dealer and we're trying to sort of figure out what exactly the bents would be worth to them and um, we could sort of go from there i'm not really sure exactly what will happen and um, if it does go through i should be going with the bends to socal over this weekend to actually go get the Lambo. Everything's moving very quickly. I never anticipate all this happening, but the deal just seemed really reasonable. And um, I guess I'm jumping on it, shit. Had a conversation with them. Finally got some rough numbers on what we're really looking at. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not really certain about this moving forward. Obviously, if you guys ever see this, it probably did move forward unless I posted later on as a memory throwback of some sorts, um, just discussing the background of what it actually took to eventually get a Lambo, even if it's not in this specific instance. So yeah, we'll just see what happens and I'll keep you guys posted. So currently the next day, I put an offer in last night and yeah, we'll just see if it gets accepted. It's all going down. If it doesn't, then, you know, better luck next time. Finally heading out. Welcome back to another video, Team T is Tzio, and let's get right into it. Not even sure how long another vlog is. So we'll see if this even becomes a separate vlog. It's actually just my mom and I today. So I offered to take the bends out. Time to pull out the bends. I probably should have put on actual shoes, but here we are. Got these uh, little flip flops on with flowers and shit popping out. 
popping out regardless. I have my Yeezys out in front. Just need to switch them before I leave and hopefully not forget like that one time. Finally back home and yeah, we're just going to see where the rest of the day takes us. There is a little surprise that I have in store, which you guys may know about at this point. I'm not really sure. We'll see how the vlog plays out. I haven't really done any editing. I might do one vlog, might do two, possibly even three. But yeah, new update went back and forth. The dealer is willing to take the car as is with all of the little mods that I did with the Brava's emblem, hash marks, you know, rear spoiler, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, roof spoiler, and so on and so forth. Everything I did, they're willing to take it as is based on the photos that I sent and the descriptions. And obviously I'll provide them with the stock parts in case they want to do whatever with them. I don't know. So yeah, I'm about to have a phone call with the person I've been speaking to, the manager there, and we'll see if any deal could be reached. And if there is one reached, then we'll probably be heading out to LA tomorrow. Just got off the phone. I'm not even sure, you know, if this thing did fall through, I'd probably use bits and pieces maybe of it in the regular vlog anyways. If it doesn't fall through, it might become one long vlog or a separate vlog just on this whole purchase. But long story short, got off the call. It went extremely well actually. And the car is reserved for me. And as long as I want it, it's pretty much mine at this point and yeah i'm just gonna have a quick conversation with my family again i'm um, just trying to go back and forth think it very thoroughly um because this is a very big purchase at least by my standards i'm just going down just got home and i just got a call that i got approved for the lambo so i'm super stoked about this and yeah i don't know man it's hard to believe i guess this vlog will be going up uh, in its entirety rather than maybe bits and pieces that i would have thrown in the, in the regular vlog if i didn't get the Benz or i didn't get the lambo but i don't think i mentioned this but i officially will be giving up this amg c63 Benz. i will be trading it in to get the lamborghini just because I think it's just the financially savvy thing to do considering I'm getting a Lambo so it's like not a financial savvy decision to begin with but this is the best I could do considering the circumstances and we will be going to LA tomorrow I'll be recording as much as I can I'm really excited about this I might have this vlog be in two parts one being more background and one being more focused on the actual trip there but we'll see the keys ready to go and yeah i'm actually giving up the parts the car came with that i had taken off like the original chrome emblems the rear spoiler that was an amg spoiler and um the grill piece grill emblem that i had put in that was a bravis i am giving back the original mercedes-benz um, emblem i'm guessing they might sell it with a car or turn it back to original I don't know if I mentioned that they're willing to take the car as is, so I don't have to remove anything and put it back to stock, which saves my time. They probably could get more for the car, potentially, I guess, depending on who the buyer would be. If it is, it is modified, the Lamborghini, I almost wanted to say Lambo, but I ended up trying to say Lamborghini. Uh, the Lamborghini is pretty much stock from what I could see. Uh, from what I recall in the picture, I don't know if it has any exhaust. I don't think there was any mention of it, but you know, dealers sometimes put very generic descriptions on the cars. So who knows if it has exhaust, it's black tinted, has black Savini rims, not sure what size, but they're probably running about 20s. And yeah, pretty much stock otherwise. And I'll probably drop in photos right after this before we even head out. I've dug up everything, or not everything, but I got the front grill emblem, as the bi-turbo emblems for the side, AMG logo for the rear, 
C63 logo for the rear as well. And yeah, going to take off carbon fiber supercar killer plates off the car. I'm going to take it off the car, but now that I think about it, there's nothing I could really do with the plates as of right now. Since I can't put supercar killer plates on a damn supercar, because well, I guess that does make some sense. I don't know if that's really what I was going for. Obviously, I was going for a Mercedes Benz that was built, or even not built, but faster than a supercar. My Benz is actually just as fast as the Lambo I'm getting, oddly enough. So I think it gets to the point that the Benz was a supercar killer, even though it didn't reach its full potential and the build that I was trying to do to get it to like 700 horses to the point where it would legit be a supercar killer in almost all instances. Um, but yeah, I'll probably take it off the car just to have, probably for memory's sake, I guess, because I can't even keep the car keys, so I won't have much memory left of it outside of documents or whatever. I guess I'm going to briefly look at the car. I'm actually going to take the seat belt covers off. So if the dealer's watching this, I'm sorry guys. I'm not giving you guys everything. The bright note there is the fact that I never told them about the covers. So they don't even know I'm taking them out and keeping them for myself and my memories. I probably will take some stuff out of the car as well, but there's not much in it. Got the plate of the cars or car keys inside though. So I need to go get that. To be honest, I don't think anybody will ever understand exactly how I feel. I can't even completely describe it, but it's like I did so much just to get to this point. And it, it literally took so much. It took so much believing in myself since, you know, it's not every day a kid wants something so expensive. And, you know, so it's not an everyday thing. Not every adult can have it. And so it, it brings in a lot of hate. It brings in a lot of lack of support, a lot of people doubting whether it could even happen. And it's just being some ridiculous child wanting ridiculous things. And I don't know, like I literally just to explain the shit I did for like absolutely no reason, you know, pretty much top of the class in elementary school. But why would that shit matter? Same thing in middle school. Like, why would that shit matter? Same thing in high school. That actually counted, obviously, to get me in college, graduated college early so I could move quicker, so I could get a Lamborghini, <sighs> graduated or went to law school with a two-year program so I could graduate from law school early so I get closer to the Lamborghini and my dreams. By the time I got to the end of law school, I realized life was bigger than just a Lamborghini. I should have more goals. Um, which, you know, I did here and there, but the Lamborghini was sort of the light at the end of the tunnel. And I realized, you know, there should be more about there. There should be more goals for myself personally, but it should also include giving back as much as possible, which is why I did other things to give back. And yeah, it just took so much. And I can't really completely fathom that this day has come. I didn't even think it would come this soon. I don't know if I mentioned previously since I recorded two separate vlogs, one being a Lamborghini vlog that may or may not had gone up. So everything is sort of mixed up that I need to sort out tonight when I'm editing. But I found this Lamborghini. I think it went on sale on Wednesday nights. I found it or it went on sale on Wednesday. I found it on Thursday night and started communicating with them. Starting that Thursday night, I sent them an email saying I was interested, you know, send me more info spent a lot of Friday talking to them, spent today talking to them, and tomorrow's the big day. So everything moved very quickly. The deal was too good to pass up, I feel like, and it just seemed like advantageous um, thing to chase. You know, the advantages definitely outweighed the disadvantages in this situation. So that's why I realized that like this was going to be the one. I have almost everything out of the car. It was literally just a handful of things. But I'm trying to take these damn quarters out, which were put in my car for court parking in places where the court required you to pay to park or like on the street or whatever. And I'm having a bit of a problem. I mean, I, like the quarters, like a couple of them are like literally stuck 
and considering I never or very rarely ever put drinks in here like I don't I don't know what the hell's going on and yeah we got it out the key to the glove box does more magic than just lock the glove box I'll tell you guys that much it took a several minutes actually but at least I got it out after some fighting to grab the very last thing which is the AMG spoiler which I'm sure they want considering it's worth a lot of money funny how that worked out but that's going up there now it's time to go to bed and I don't even know if I'll be able to go to sleep tonight because I'm pretty excited and I'm still in absolute disbelief but yeah I enjoyed my evening ordering a bunch of stuff for the car actually but I'll get into that probably sometime tomorrow maybe in the next vlog I'm not really sure but I think I'm gonna make this vlog multiple parts and it's going to be one hell of a job trying to edit all of this shit because I haven't even edited anything and I don't even know how long the vlog is. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Stick around for the next episode when we go to Los Angeles to get the Lambo and get rid of the Benz. It's going to be very sad giving up the Benz, but it will be very exciting finally getting my childhood dream car. So thank you all for sticking around. Catch you guys in the next episode. It should be a very fun ride and uh, check out the clothing brand triumphclo.com triumph your dreams away I gotta get me a bag I guess this is it y'all very last ride I guess it wouldn't be right if we didn't have to do these car <laughs> changes at like 4 a.m. one last time with the Benz, which is kind of hilarious if you think about it. But I'm definitely going to miss that car to say the least. I have a Mustang literally parked on the street. My dad's with his Mustang on the street. My sister's pulling out her car. And now I come into the Benz. One last cold start. And it wouldn't have any be any better than doing it this early even though the neighbors are gonna hate me because obviously cold start is going to sound way better i'm just gonna let this video run so you guys can hear it one last time as well That shit is so sad, put in work at that basement I charge you double that payment Low boy, I'm not one you can play with I grew up in Brooklyn, left right, I keep looking If the ops come, then we get to bucking So sad that my youngest stay shook Get a bag, we don't play with a bug Made a slab, now they all wanna hug the First rest stop, y'all Damn, look at the sunrise That is so Kelly At least the gas is true Coffee, yeah, let's sir. It's up to you guys Look at the fucking sunrise, y'all. All right, 75 bucks. My family's actually getting coffees, using the bathroom and everything. We probably won't be stopping anytime soon for a while now. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think we have like 200 miles until we get to LA. But damn, this is such a California vibe right now. This is what everybody thinks California is like. In all honesty and reality, that's probably going to be the very last time I pump gas in the bends. And uh, yeah, so that's a very interesting thing. I would have kept it if I could, 
but I don't think it's financially savvy like I said I mean I could hypothetically keep it and still be saving money on a monthly basis but it just doesn't make too much sense for me right now looks like as of right now we'd be there around 9 30 so pretty much on track in terms of getting there on time it is currently 6 50 as you guys could see and we just pulled up to our rest area that's probably going to be our last stop until we get to la and yeah it's been an, an interesting ride the drive is the drive is cool i mean the roads this is just like hella farmland empty land and shit there's like not much to actually see at all and yeah but you know i asked my mom to record clips so maybe those will be thrown in if she records anything as you guys could see literally in the middle of nowhere like i said i think i had a case over here actually but i never appeared for court physically but yeah the Benz was definitely dirty before, definitely dirty now. You'd hear the fan running. The windshield is super dirty. But yeah. Bro, look at all these bugs. I just randomly noticed it. Damn. Five hours later. Gas stop number two. Yeah, stop number two is completed. That's probably going to be the very last stop. We're about 50 miles away from the dealer at this point. Well, this place looks pretty nice. I have no idea where the hell we're at, to be honest with y'all. Yeah. Finally made it, y'all. Damn, I'm getting kind of jittery, to be honest. I'm feeling kind of numb. I guess this is it of this car. really belongs with all these blacked out cars. I think I'm ready. <coughs> I hope that was GY Inspire. This Bentley is so fine. I really like this Porsche too, even though I'm not even a fan of Porsche like that, but damn. Red accents, gold looking brake calipers, maybe yellow. I think the, I don't know, the interior is probably just like 100 bands for a old Porsche. Well, I can't talk because my Lambos are on the same. <laughs> damn. Nice. RS5, that's pretty sweet. Makes me somewhat miss my Audi, but not really. Navy, Gran Turismo, super nice. GTS, AMG. The gold wing doors. Most of the doors were up, that would have been pretty sweet. Benz, not even an AMG. This one's pretty nice. Black vibes. Maserati. Not sure if this is a Ghibli or Quattro Corte. Got the M4 over there. A couple of years. It's pretty nice. So I guess it is a Quattro Corte S. So higher model, I guess. M3. Not my color of choice, actually. Carbon fiber, side skirts. That's pretty sweet. 
I think it's sort of broken over here and just looks like that. But I do need an M3 in my life at some point because it is a sedan. It was one of the choices before I got my C63 actually, which was supposed to be sedan. So yeah, my dad is testing it out. I promised myself years ago, I think I mentioned already, that I wasn't going to drive a Lamborghini unless I owned it, so I did not feel comfortable taking it. I didn't want to take it. We almost had a fight about me not taking it since my dad didn't want to take it, and neither did my sister, so it was a whole situation. But my dad took it, and they should be back probably shortly. stuff to go through and to sign paperwork so decided to go to the bathroom yep yep let's see what it's about we oh, got water in there too you're gonna make coffee yeah yeah i think that's right <laughs> well they got strength if you want it stronger so you move move yeah Okay. Um, small size. And, yeah, how much milk you want? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might grab a water for now. I think she said snacks are over here too. Uh, I think in the cabinets. Oh yeah, there's some snacks I guess in some of the doors. Uh, the kettle chips. First time opening it. Damn. That's crazy. How do I how do I pop the trunk actually? I don't know. Is that That's pretty cool. Alright. Well then. I'm kinda scared to be honest with you. Like this or sideways? It's like video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So you're gonna remember this moment. Kids, this is your daddy. <laughs> Fueling now. 
nothing. Okay. That's really weird. Do you want me to push it? I don't know. That's kind of stupid. I think there should be some easier way to do it. What do you want to get? I think I might just get one of these coffees. Finally back home. Made it. And yeah. Crazy. I will say I do already miss the bends. You know. Wish I could have kept it, but unfortunately financially just didn't make that much sense. But you know, I do believe I have another Benz coming sooner than later. Because of everything going on, I've literally had no time to edit. So I'm not even sure when all these vlogs are going to go up, but it will be a small series based on this car journey. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. Obviously, you guys will already know that by the time th this scene is even ever seen, since it will be the last part of the series but yeah as you guys can see my eyes are hella bloodshot the camera is probably not even catching it really at all so i need to go to sleep so i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you all for watching please remember to like share and subscribe and there will be more channel or more videos on the lamborghini to come so thank you all for sticking around Triumph, your dreams await.